Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing another general energy reading. As always, I've already cleansed with my Kamaya healing spray. So I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling my cards. So I hope you guys have been well. Thank you guys as always so, so much for booking your personal readings for me, you know, on my website as well as on Twitter and Instagram. Um, again, if any of you guys, you know, are more introverted like I am, I know, you know, I have a YouTube channel, so you would expect me to be extroverted, but honestly, I think that's just my Leo rising. It makes me seem way more outgoing than I actually am. I'm actually super introverted. I love my alone time. I love spending time by myself at home, snuggling with my pug. Um, that's just kind of the life I like to lead, but you know, you guys are introverted like me. I have my DM only services as well as I have digital only um, options on my website. So like you can get your reading in a PDF form and you know, it's only 11 bucks. So definitely check that out if you guys are interested. Um, and you know, thank you guys in advance for like, you know, lending me your energy. I have so much fun being able to connect with you guys and give you guys advice in your careers and your love life, all of those things. I, I'm so truly grateful to be able to help give that advice and guidance. You know, I've definitely been there before too. And you know, your emotions always get the best of you. So it's always great to have that extra set of eyes and ears of someone who cares and is looking out for you. So I think we're good on shuffling. Let's go ahead and check in and see what's going on with the collective. Whoop. One card is out, but it landed face down. So we will check that out in a second. All right, there's our first three cards. Oh, four cards, wow. Okay, first card that came out was nine of pentacles in reverse. So someone does not want to be single anymore. Someone thought they wanted to be single. They thought they wanted to, you know, I'm definitely getting Beyonce's um, single ladies in my head. Um, but definitely, you know, like if, if, you, if you like it, you should have put a ring on it. That is definitely what this person is feeling now. This person, you know, thought they wanted to be single, thought they wanted to do it all on their own, but now, you know, they're seeing their life and they're feeling lonely and, you know, a lot of things that they're trying to invest in and want to come into fruition is not actually happening for them. Um, next, we have Eight of Wands. So because of that, this person wants to come in with some really fast communication, um, really wants to make some big changes and let you know that that is going to be happening in their life. With the Wheel of Fortune here, I think by finally communicating with you, um, if you guys have been in separation for a long time, it's going to bring some good fortune your way, good fortune, good luck, all of those things. And we have a four of wands here. So like I said, this person does not want to be single anymore. They want a really true stable connection. Um, if you guys believe in twin flames or you are a twin flame, um, this is the twin flame card. Four of wands to me is always a stable commitment, a marriage, a long lasting love. So that is beautiful and like really fun energy to start with. So let's see what else is going on in the situation. All right. Three more cards came out. So first off, we had a three of pentacles. So this person, they want to work with you. I think in the past, if they've hurt you or you felt like they weren't investing in this relationship the way they should have, if they put you in third party situations, this person wants to collaborate. They want to work on either a business project with you or just work together to make sure that this relationship is truly successful. With the Eight of Cups out next, this person definitely left all of their past emotions, their past player ways, their past mistakes and emotional emotions in a sense where like, you know, they were letting their emotions get the best of them. They're leaving all of those cups in the past and trying to move forward because after that was the Nine of Cups. You are their true wish fulfillment. They see you in a completely different light now and they totally just want to come back and keep you all to themselves. Um, you are like the perfect em embodiment of the perfect partner that they want and need in their life. And lastly, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this person, you know, they feel like when you stepped out of their life, when you stepped out of their energy, they felt like they were locked out of heaven. They felt like they were left out in the cold and they don't want to be in this energy in the, anymore. They wanna truly come back and, you know, get you. 
Next, we have the Four of Swords. So like I said, they were miserable when you stepped out of their life. Um, they were in this energy where they really had to, they were forced to rest and really reflect. They made their bed and now they have to sleep in it. They had to face all of their inner demons and all of the hurt and pain that they caused you. And it really, you know, made them open their eyes. With the moon here, a lot of secrets were revealed in this situation. I feel like you may have been trapped in some third party situations. There were definitely just secrets lurking in the water that I think you were already catching on to um, that were finally revealed, which caused you to step away from this person to, you know, completely put you both in separation. With the Ten of Pentacles here, like I said, this person just wants to come back and promise you a very stable, loving foundation. Um, this person with the Seven of Cups, they definitely had a lot of options in the past, but after exploring all of those other options, they realized that, you know, the grass wasn't greener on the other side, you know, being a player wasn't the right move for them. You know, in the end, you were their true nine of cups out of all of these other options that they had. You were the only one that actually made them truly happy and they were, you were the only one they truly loved. Like I said, with the devil um, here at the bottom now, you know, they we're in this player mindset. They wanted to have all these other options, but now they're definitely seeing their shadow side for what it was. And they know now that that is not the way to live. With the world card under that, they're ready to wrap up this cycle and end their toxic ways so that, you know, they can come forward and have this new four of wands with you. So that is beautiful. Um, I feel like it's very straightforward, no karmic energies, nothing like that. Um, let's do some clarifying messages. So Spirit, what can you tell me about this person that I'm channeling that wants to come back um, to have a stable commitment and love with this person? What traits do they have? What secrets are they keeping? What does my collective need to know about this person? Please let us know. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, I'll take these. So first off, we have immature. So this person is definitely immature in the past. You know, like I said, they thought they wanted to be single. Turns out they don't want to be single. Um, I think, you know, this person I'm getting, they're really good at pretending um, that they're in love, but it's really all about like, you know, getting into bed with you. Um, this person, you know, they see their immatures, immature ways for what they are now. Um, you know, they want all the benefits of being in a relationship without actually committing, which they realize is super immature and they can't use people like that anymore. Next, we have sneaky. This person was definitely being sneaky in the past, definitely trying to hide all their other options from you. Um, I feel like this person may have been cheating on you for a while, but you didn't find out about it until right after you guys broke up. And next we have music. So, um, you know, if you ever get those times where, you know, you're in a specific mood and then a song comes up on the radio or comes up in your music when your music is on shuffle and that song perfectly correlates to you or your specific relationship, um, that is your person in the 5D trying to speak to you, trying to tell you how they truly feel. So, you know, when you listen to music, really pay attention to those times where, you know, if a song is suddenly feels triggering to you, it's because it's a message from your person in the 5D trying to communicate how they truly feel, even though they never said it in real life. Next is you read my mind. I feel like this person they definitely knew that you were catching on to them and their sneaky ways. It felt like you were constantly reading their mind and it really scared them. Um, you were just super intuitive and you knew that this person was doing some stuff behind your back and you know, the spirit and the universe, you know, they helped you with that. They're like, yeah, your person is doing some shady stuff um, behind your back. So if you want to see it here, we'll lead you right to it. And that's basically what happened. And it was what basically caused you to end this relationship. So three cards came out. These will be the last three. And then we'll get some wrapping up closing messages. So first off is shy. So you could be shy or the person that I'm channeling could be shy. Um, they are not feeling confident right now. And because of all the mistakes that they made, you know, they're too shy to speak up and, you know, admit everything that they did wrong. 
Next we have dreams, but this person is definitely coming to you in their in your dreams as well as they are dreaming about you. <sighs> Thinking about, you know, all the times that you guys spent together, all the happy memories, but also they're also haunted by what they did to you and how they hurt you in the past. And next we have actions over words. So this person, even though they never said that they loved you, um, this is why they want you to remember their actions remember the way they treated you remember those times that you went or that they went out of their way to go above and beyond um for you you know even though they may have not said i love you i feel like this person's love language um or the way that they show love is through acts of service so they're trying to remind you that actions speak louder to, than words for them so even if they never said that they love you just remember all the things that they did and all the ways that they went above and beyond to remind you that they really did care for you so whew, interesting with that said spirit how is the situation going to wrap up what can my collective expect to happen in the next seven to ten days please let us know there we go all right, okay. So first off, we have an Eight of Pentacles. So this person is definitely burying themselves in their work, trying to distract themselves um, from how they're feeling because they don't want to face up to what they're doing. Um, next, we have a Queen of Swords in reverse. So I feel like this is probably you. Um, this is how you're feeling right now. You know, you don't want this person back and even if they do want to give you truth and clarity on what happened in the past, you know, you're going to come right back at them with your own sword, with your own truth and really cut this relationship off because you are a high priestess, you know, you know, your intuition, you know, who has good intentions for you and who does not. So continue to trust and um, know that about yourself because we have an ace of cups in reverse here. You know that this person even though they're coming at you with, you know, all these promises of stable love and that, you know, I'm sorry, I kept all these secrets and I've been doing all these things in the past with the Ace of Cups in reverse, I think you are going to decide that, you know, you don't want this cup of love anymore. You want to stand up for yourself and what you truly deserve. And, you know, what it is, is that you don't see that this is the right person for you. So, that is it for today's reading. Um, if anything resonated, please do thumbs up the video. Um, thumbsing up the video is also a great way to allow me to better pick up on your energy and your specific story. Um, if anything resonated and you are brand new, hopefully you do decide to subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you can get notified when I upload new videos. So that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.